G'day Van Fam, and welcome back to another episode. We're continuing to make our way south down the east coast of Queensland. We've just arrived to the townships of Agnes Waters in 1770. We're staying in a really cool camp at the moment. It's called the 1770 Eco Camp. It's got a really cool vibe and we're really enjoying ourselves here. So let's get straight into the episode by sharing with you what we got up to on our first explore day here. Okay. It is our first day here in Agnes Waters in 1770, and it's a Friday, which means it's a day off. So what does a day off mean, kids? Explore day! <laughs> so what's on the agenda first, my love? We are going to do the paper bark trail because it's pretty and we want to learn about paper barks and get some photos. Looks like we've just arrived with the tour bus, so I guess we're gonna chill out for a while. <laughs> we definitely prefer to come to these places when it's not loaded with people. At a new town is not complete unless we go to an info center. We're gonna go check that out now. So we've just got our stamp in our passport and hot tip is to go to Main Beach for a swim. So we're gonna go do that. Well, <laughs> That time lapse might be a bit of an example of just how busy this is going to be. <laughs> so, uh, kids are all dressed, ready to go to the beach, and I've forgotten my swimmers, which is most inconvenient, so I guess I'll be sitting and watching. I'll swim for you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, dear. Melissa at the info centre told us a little tidbit. She said that Agnes Waters has the most northern surf beach in Queensland. So we, we've really been missing surf beaches. We haven't seen one for quite a while. So pretty keen to get down to this main beach and check it out. Bondi Beach, eat your heart out. <laughs> Looks as busy as Bondi Beach. That's school holidays for you. On your marks, ready, set, go. So we've just had lunch at the caravan and now we're heading off to the next place for an adventure. We're going to Chinaman's Beach to walk on the beach, which should be really cool. a stark difference between Chinaman's Beach and uh, Main Beach as far as how busy it goes. <laughs> Water still looks beautiful though. Well the um, sand down here on the beach is just the right level of grittiness to not be too soft and not do anything but not be too rough and uncomfortable. It's gonna clean our feet really nice. Are you enjoying your exfoliation? <laughs> yeah yeah this is <laughs> Chinaman's Beach. What's next on the agenda, Hungry? Uh, I think it's ice cream time. Ice, ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. We all scream for, for ice cream. cream. How's your ice cream, kiddo? Good. It looks pretty good. 
How about you, dear? It's yummy. Everyone loves gelato. And you, Owen? Well? Yummy. You should come to the shop. It's great. <laughs> All right, guys, it's time for this week's cooking with Sveto. But first, I want to take you for a little look around this camp because it is awesome. And it kind of all ties in together anyway. So first off, there are edible plants everywhere. This is lemongrass. This, these are bananas. Let's take you for a walk with me and we'll see what we can see. One hundred percent. This is something. I'm going to leave it up to you guys to tell me what it is. I think it might be a yam or potentially ginger. You can see there's tomato bush in here. Another one. I don't know what it is, but I guarantee you it will serve a purpose if I uh, am reading this place right. Uh, just in here is the shower block. There are zero complaints about the shower blocks. They keep them clean. They've got screaming hot water coming out of them. So it's been really nice. What else can I take you and show you? Come down this way. I'm pretty sure these are dragon fruits. They have them all over the place. So when they actually start fruiting, I reckon that'll be awesome for this place. And come down here. You can see they have a really nice little dam. The kids have been down here swimming and playing on the uh, swing, having a grand old time. Then I'll take you up and show you the camp kitchen and our friendly neighbors, Lee. It's great vibes here. So up here is the camp kitchen. So they offer free coffee, which I think I showed you earlier on the Explore Day. We keep the communal fire going, so we're hoping to hang out by that tonight with some of the other campers. And I have been getting my favorite part of this place, the pizza oven. Been working on making sure that's roaring hot so we can cook some uh, pizza tonight. Why do we need a blower, Mel? <laughs> it should blow it on the fire. <laughs> Useful tool, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> She's looking hot in there. I put my hand in to put some more wood on and I burnt a lot of the hairs off my hand. So I don't think these pieces are going to take very long to cook at all. Righto, so we got three pizzas tonight. I reckon uh, it's gonna take all of probably um, three can I, minutes. Um, Actually, get, grab your phone and start a timer and see how long it takes. <laughs> oh, yeah, I hide. <laughs> nice try. What is that? Nice try, Ben. <laughs> 10 million apps. <laughs> all right, what do we do? Timer? Yeah. What, what did you cook them on last night? Yeah, I can do it over here, actually. <laughs> all right, and start. Pizza number one, our cheese pizza. It's even hot there. Wow. Yeah, you'll you'll fry the camera if you put it in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's now been in there for one and a half minutes, and I pulled it out for <laughs> half of that time. Wow! Look how crispy that is. You know what we didn't bring down here? A knife. A knife on chopping board. Everyone here. Um, yeah, you can go and see, or you have to go up and grab one. That one's done. That's insanely quick. One minute, 52 seconds. Yum, 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 yum. Mm. Mm. 
This is so cheesy. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Let go. Mmm, there's your wood fired pizza. Mmm, nom nom nom. Got me. What do I get out of 10? Oh, 10 out of 10. Ooh. And garlic, garlic bread. bread. Kids, you want garlic bread? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm having a slice. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. First taste of my pepperoni pizza. Oh, look at the base. Beautiful. <laughs> look at all that melty cheese. Ah. I'm gonna have it. <laughs> that is so good. Hi guys. Well, today is Brett's birthday. So we've made him breakfast this morning, gone to the paperback trail. Had burgers on the beach, which was lovely, and now we're going to make him air fryer cupcakes, which is something that I cook occasionally. So I'll go find the kids and let's get our cooking started. Hands clean? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. So first things first, we grab our only large bowl we have. Owen, can you cut this? So cut this. Yeah. So it's open. Okay. Just at the top. We've just got a cheap 90 cent cake mix. Next, we need some eggs. I don't want any shell in it. Okay, so this line. Maybe we need to do that again. So it's just eggs, milk, and butter, really. Just put that in the fridge for me, darling. Oh, should we put hundreds and thousands in it? Yeah, it's Daddy's birthday. Yeah? yeah, Daddy's birthday, so why not? Uh, oops, do you think I put enough in? No, <laughs> a bit more, more, oops. more. We're going to pour this in. Now, butter, which has been sitting here, we're getting all nice and melty while we've been at the beach. I'll just mix it up first before we use our drill beater. Otherwise, the flour will fry everywhere. Mm. Vanilla essence. You put a little bit of this in and then it doesn't taste like cake mix. Mm. Mix it all. Next thing's next is my favourite thing, the gel beater. Ah! Oh, that's a bit fast. Better turn it down. Ah! And put it on. Ah! Forward. Ah! Don't want it too fast. And we mix it up. First are tiny, we can only do four at a time. It's only one beater though, who gets to have it? We take it off. <laughs> All right, kids, you have to share it. <laughs> Look at him go for it. <laughs> Mine. And next, we have to fill our patty pans. These are just silicon molds that picked up from like Big W or Kmart or something. And they work really well in the air fryer because they hold their shape, not like paper ones. And they can be reused again after second or third batch. This makes about 12 cupcakes. And you can only do four at a time. It takes about 12 minutes for each batch, so it's a long process. So we've got all four in, kind of balanced. I say kind of, it's not a flat surface. But if you put them straight on the bottom without having this little tray in there, they kind of burn. So. Turn our air fryer on. We 
have it on 150 degrees for 12 minutes. Okay. And we'll see how they come out. Looking pretty good. So what we're doing now is we've just got some instant chocolate frosting <laughs> and we are going to ice the cupcakes with some frosting because the frosting is always the best I think. <laughs> Here is our finished cupcakes. <laughs> gonna go take them down to wherever daddy's sitting and embarrass him and wish him happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Daddy. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hooray! Get a blow out now. Thank you. Make a wish. It's good cupcakes, dear. You're welcome. Thank you. So for this evening's entertainment, I have asked Mel to drive because I'm the birthday boy and we're heading down to 1770. We're going to watch the sunset over the, um, over the waterway down there and then we're going to come back in here to Agnes Waters and have dinner at the pub. So I'm pretty excited for that, especially the not having to drive part. Or cook part. Or cook part. Yeah, it's nice to get a night off. And this is why I usually drive. Oh, come on! There's the line. I didn't... It's a There's the car. <laughs> this is already the second go. Agnes Waters, town of 1770. You are here. <laughs> you are here. You are here. This is the spot, dude. You gonna help us, darling? Yeah. Go beside. I don't know if it's big enough. <laughs> are we, uh, are we gonna fit on that? Um, I think we'll all fit lying down. <laughs> Move it up to the soft sand. You treat me to some champagne. I did champagne watching sunset before we go out to dinner. Not even the cheap stuff, it's brown brothers. Yeah, I got I got I spent a few extra dollars. I should have more birthdays. <laughs> Shame I only have one of you. <laughs> well we can't spoil ya. I feel like my life is pretty spoiled <laughs> Ready? <laughs> ah missed it. You do? And the goblets. The fancy wine goblet. Because they don't break. <laughs> they do get a little bend, but they don't break. Cheers. Happy birthday, dear.
Yeah, well sadly I think we're getting let down a little bit with the sunset. Yeah. Clouds. Clouds are not playing ball. Oh well, had a pretty good day I think. Yes, I really have had a great day. And cooking, I yeah. cooked for you. And I can't complain. Just uh, we're not going to get the epic 1770 sunset, sadly. All right, we are out of here. We're leaving the 1770 eco camp behind. We've just been and done the rounds and said goodbye to all the friends that we've made here. It's been an awesome place to stay. Really good sense of community. What did you think of the town of 1770 in Agnes Waters, darling? Yeah, it was good. There was the beach, the paperback trail, sunsets. The shops are expensive though, so that hurt the budget a little bit. Yeah, there's no proper supermarket. There's just one of these green grocers and IGA style shops. But aside from that, it's been fantastic. I've enjoyed myself. Yeah, good place to relax for a few days and then move on. So thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. If you are, please hit that like button and subscribe and we will see you in the next video. See ya. Awesome place to stay, really good sense of community. What did you think of the town of 1770 in Agnes Waters, darling? Yeah, it was good. There was the beach, the paperback trail, sunsets. The shops are expensive though, so that hurt the budget a little bit. Yeah, there's no proper super. Just fell on me. I better leave it alone, huh? <laughs> no, no one laughs at my joke.